What's up guys? I saw a lot of requests in the comments that I should react or give my thoughts on the For Honor Marching Fire Shaolin China expansion. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna look at how much fun it is or how good those characters are. I'm just gonna look at if I feel it's authentic. If you're new to this channel, check out this video. So, you know, what's up? Let's take a look at it. First of all, the outfit. <laughs> the actual Shaolin Temple outfit. I understand why they didn't use it because it's boring because they're monks They don't wear all this stuff, but when you make a game, I guess you gotta make it crazy a little bit I understand that but that is as far from a Shaolin monk as it could possibly be I feel like he should just do this don't get me wrong, it looks pretty awesome, but if he wasn't bold, I couldn't tell that it's supposed to be a Shaolin monk. I see that they went with the sort of most iconic Shaolin weapon, which is the staff. It's true, it is the most iconic weapon. I personally prefer just the fist form, so I wish they just went with a pure hand-to-hand -hand combat character. Ah, you see that? How he lifted up his leg? Not bad, yeah, that, that's Shaolin. Ah, very nice. That is a move that you see a lot, where you twist ones and you get the stick behind your body. Boom, boom, cool. And I think he goes down into Pubu, right? Yeah, I think he does. He doesn't lift his foot up high enough when he does that one. See, he's very low. It's not good. I'm a bit disappointed that during the dodges, he doesn't do anything cooler. Like, Shaolin Kung Fu is so full of amazing movements, and they just went with a generic dodge. That's a bit disappointing. All right, now we got something. That is called a gongbo, a bow stance. And I'm sorry, but that is bad. If we do gongbo like this in the temple, we get hit with a stick. He even looks like he's overextending his left knee and he's also way too high. Shaolin positions have to be low. That is unacceptable. Sorry, <laughs> real talk. Ah, oh, from here it looks like a pan mabu, which is a mabu, but it's tilted to the side. But that's actually nice and low, that looks good. Ooh, beautiful. Let's try that again. Yeah, very nice. That's a pubu. I would say that his uh, upper body is bent forward a little bit too much. That's actually a mistake that many people do when they're not flexible enough. They try to go down into a pubu, but they actually can't, so they just bend forward. No, even when you're in a pubu, your back has to be up straight. And his butt is not low enough. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. Yes. There's a stick form, what most beginners learn when they start. It's called Yin Shou Gun. And that is one of the most fun movements in that form. So you jump. Actually, it is nice, but if you notice, when he jumps, when you're in the air, you're supposed to bend your body a little bit more. So your feet are supposed to go more behind your back and your hands more behind your head. It's a very explosive, very big movement. Here's just sort of jumping. It still looks good, but he's just jumping, you see? Yeah, his legs should be higher. Now we have another Gungbu, but with a bent back leg. Uh, yeah, that, that's okay, I mean. Whoa, look at that. That is, that is really cool. Especially how he holds out, holds out his left arm, makes a palm. That is a Shaolin move. And what is that? Ah, cool, that exists, very cool. Oh. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's see that again. Oh, that's bad. Oh my god. Jesus, that looks like a beginner. How he's hitting his leg, that is not how you do that. It looks like he's not flexible the way he's kicking. Th the hand that is hitting the foot, that is a mistake. If you do that, you're also gonna get hit with a stick. You never do swing with your arms to hit your leg. It's always supposed to come from your hip, straight forward, hit the foot and right back. He's slapping it from the top. I guess for theatricality and deception. Powerful allies to the uninitiated. But I am initiated. <laughs> oh, he said Amitofo. Did he say that? I think he did. Amitofo. Very nice. That is uh, basically Buddha bless you. That's what people say in the temple. The monks say to greet each other. This kick itself does not happen during normal f uh, stick forms usually. There is a monkey staff though and uh, there it exists. You're putting the stick on the ground, you're balancing off of it and then you're kicking into the air. So that's also a real move. Ooh, that's horrible. Look at that. Oh my god. That is bad. The kick is a advanced kick, it's not easy. But when you do that kick, the kicking leg is not supposed to bend like that in the end. Because it shows that you're not flexible. Gotta say, overall, I'm slightly disappointed. Like, Shaolin Kung Fu offers so much. Shaolin movements are very big. They're very big movements. They're also very low movements. It's supposed to be very much focused on legs and kicks. I wish there were sweeps or... or some animal movements. There's so much in Shaolin Kung Fu, but it's just not here. What a wasted opportunity. They should have asked me and invite me to motion capture this and then they would have gotten some cooler moves. <laughs>
Let's look at the other Marching Fire characters. I mean, they probably have even less to do with Shaolin, but whatever. Let's just take a look. I'm hyped to see the Shuango. I want to look at that. That is a beautiful weapon. Ugh. Again, what's with the stances? That is a horrible stance. Look how they always change the way the monk looks. It shows me that this is not Shaolin. <laughs> oh, they even... This is already more impressive than the monk. Because look. Yeah. See, what she's doing is she's uh, actually interlocking one hook into the other and then throwing it around. That is a difficult move, but one that exists. Why is she running like a ninja? Whoa! Awesome! That is a cool move. And a very difficult one also. <laughs> that is so cool. I really like the Dao that he has. It's almost like a Shuang Shou Dao, like a double hand, double hand Dao. Oh, that's cool. You see how he's, uh, how his hand at the end, his left hand goes behind his, uh, behind his back. We see that a lot in Shaolin Kung Fu too. Here also. Oh, oh, impressive. I like it. See, he goes like that one time, covering his head. Many forms have that. There's actually one position that you see in almost every form where you're like this. You have one hand above your head and one hand to the side. Whoa, what? Oh, <laughs> okay. That looks like he's about to do a butterfly kick. Nice! Sword on top. He goes down into Mabu. That looks like a very good Mabu. Pretty, pretty cool. I like him the most so far. Nice. I see that they put this uh, movement into every single character, understandably, because it is a very common movement in uh, Wushu. That's actually how some forms begin. Where you have the weapon next to you, and then you kick the bottom of it, and it turns. And then you start. So far, I haven't seen a lot that impresses me. Bit disappointed, to be honest. Okay, I think that's enough. There is something here. There is a okay amount, I would say. I think there is a lot more that could have been done. I don't know who they consulted for this. I don't think I'll be getting this expansion, since it also costs 30 bucks. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different from what I usually do, but I thought a lot of people asked me to do this, so here you go. See you next time. Bye-bye.